Hello, my name is Keshwani. This is K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to read and write Hindi. We are also here because we want to read and write Urdu. We are doing both at the same time. Today is our day number 14. On the first four days, day number one through four, we did Aki, Aki Matra. On the next four days, day number five, six, seven, and eight, we did Iki Matra. And then following four days, on day number nine, 10, 11, and 12, we did Oki Matra. And yesterday, we started Uki Matra. And today is our part two of four for Uki Matra. Let's begin. What we learned yesterday is that for Uki Matra, for Uki Matra in Urdu, the letters take a special symbol called Pesh. And it looks like this. Here's your Ba. Here's your Ba. And if you want to turn Ba into a Bu, short U, you take and put a symbol like this. Which I found fascinating that it takes the same exact symbol in Hindi. A symbol is like this. And you put the same exact symbol in Hindi. The only difference is that in Urdu it goes in the top. In Hindi it goes at the bottom. In Hindi you call it Choti Uki Matra and we call it Pesh. And that converts Pa into a Ba into a Bu. So we have it. So words that require short U sound and the words that require long U sound. The Badi Uki Matra. For example, we talked about some examples from English language yesterday. Words like Tuk, Cook, Foot, Shook. They, have, they all have U sound but U is very short. Foot, Shook, Tuk. As opposed to words that require longer U sound. Uki sound, sound of U is going to be a little bit longer. As in, boot, food, mood, shoot, shoe. Same thing is going on here. Now, if you want to make a longer U, a longer U sound in Urdu, if you want to have a Bari Uki Matra, you will take the letter and then you will have to put a wow, a letter called wow. So here's your verb. It will take a vowel. In addition to that, the vowel will take what is known as ulta pesh, upside down pesh. And that converts ba into a bu, longer bu. Ba into bu. In Hindi, you take the ba, but instead of, instead of simple going like this, it goes the other way. Let's, let's, let's look at a couple of more letters. What about poo? If you want a poo, you take your pur and you put pesh on it. You take your pur and you put uki mantra, poo. The question is what happens with aleph, poo? Do I take my a, Hindi letter a, like this, Hindi letter a, and do I put chodi uki mantra? The answer is no. For U, the sound U, the short U and the long U, they have unique symbol, a special symbol just like we learned when we are doing Iki Matra in Hindi. They also have special symbols that represent short E sound and Badi E sound. Just like that, the symbol looks like something like this. It's just going to look like a three and you put a line on it. Like that. This is wrong. Similarly, if you want Long, longer U sound, if you want a longer U sound, in Urdu is the same pattern. In Urdu it does not change. You take your alif, you put a vowel next to it, and you put a ulta pitch. That makes the U. But in Hindi you do not take your a uh and go like that. That will be damn silly. There is no such thing. They have a unique symbol in Hindi and it looks something like this. Like that. So what I find fascinating is that for a, uh, it goes all the way to the top. This guy does not, this top part is missing. It goes like, it goes at the bottom, like that. That's this thing right here. And that's just alif. That's just alif. Let's begin. Let's begin, just like yesterday. We needed this summary. I needed a summary because I always have to remind myself until I fully get a hang of it. So 
until I fully get the hang of it, which I will after we do it two more times. Today is our second time. Today is day number 14. Yesterday we started on day 13. So we're going to look at pairs of words with the Choti Uki Matra and Badi Uki Matra. Let's begin. So here's the Be, which is Pesh, so that's Bu, Bu, and then to which we can look at join R, Re, and Alif, Ra, Bura. You know what Bura means? Bura means something that is bad. Bura Majja, Bura Mat Mainya. Don't think it the wrong way. Bura, something that is bad. Bura. Here's a, here's a word. So here's B, to which we're going to combine her. Chot, do chashmi hai. Do chashmi hai, because we are about to make do chashmi hai. Where did he go? I always lose track of it. Her. Bloody hell. Right there is a do chashmi hai. But uh, right there, do chashmi hai. That's the hai we need to convert b into a b. If, for example, in English, if you want to write b, you will write b and h. B. That's the same thing we do in Urdu. But in Hindi, you have a unique letter. In Hindi, you have a unique letter. It looks like this. That's a B. We don't want a B. We want, we are going to combine vowel, uh, vowel to it and ulta page. In other words, we want a bu, longer U, bu. So it's bu. And then to that, I left no room for myself. I can't continue. We can't continue. Oh, why, why don't we continue here? To which we're going to add the. So this whole thing is b. Up to here is b. This is b. When we put this symbol right there, that converts that into a bu, which is why we need a wow and the ulta page. And then to that we're going to come th. Uh, th. Boot. Boot as in ghost. Let's put all of that together. So this is b. We're going to combine do chashmi here. Then a vowel, put a da, don't forget the dot, and the ulta page goes on the vowel. Ulta page does not go on the letter, it goes on the vowel. Boot, boot as in ghost. Let's do another one with a choti uki matra. U, and U we just learned, it looks like this. U, and then so, sin, us. Us can mean either him or her. Usse, usse baat kare. That could also mean you can talk talk to her or talk to him. Usse pushe. Uske paas jaye. Go to him. Go to her. Us. Let's do with the badi uki matra. Alif mat a. We have done it many many times. A that converts alif a into a. a. So that's a. A. R, R, and then Zu, R Zu. But the question is, this Z that we wrote here, which Z is going to take? In, in Urdu, Z comes in four different flavors. And the writer has to know which one of these Z will take. This is, this is called Zal, this comes after the letter Dal, Dal, Zal, this is called Zal. This is called Ze, it comes after letter Re, Re, Ze. This is called letter Suat and Zuat, this is called Zuat. You see, I have to say it like this, so remember what this is called. Suat and Zuat, this is Zuat. Zal, Ze, Zuat, or Zoin. They all make a Ze sound, and the writer has to know which Ze the word takes in order for the spelling to be correct. But in Hindi, you don't have any of that nonsense because it's just Ze. R, Zu. It's this one. So, arzu. You know what arzu means? Arzu means desire. A desire, a wish, a wanting. Let's look at the one with the Choti Uki Matra. We need the room. Let me first write it in Hindi. Su, ba, ha, suba. Suba is in morning. Watch what happens. This is seen. This is seen, which is this. But when it joins, it only takes this. So if you write this, su, b, and then 
Huh. Hay comes in four different flavors. This is a hay, that's a hay, that's a hay. This is called buddy hay. This is choti hay, these two are called choti hay. This one and this one are called choti hay. And this one is called dochashmi hay. Subha. This is pure nonsense. This is utter nonsense. That's how we not write, that's not how we write subha in Urdu. First of all, it does not take a scene, it takes a swat. Where did we learn swat? We learned swat somewhere. So, so, so right there. So comes in two different ways. This is a so and so is this one. This is called seen, this is called swat. Here it takes swat. So, su, su, bo, and instead of this he, it's going to take buddy he. Subha. That's the correct spelling. This was utter nonsense. This is nothing. Nobody would understand Urdu what you wrote here. It's nothing. Even though the letters are there, and probably people can guess, but they will laugh at you. Subha. One more time. Swat. With the uki matra. That's this guy right here. Su. This is su. And then a bur. And then a her. And the her that we wrote at the end is this her right here. This her right here. The very first one. The buddy here. Subha. Morning. That's the one with the buddy uki matra. Cha, cha, ku, chaku. You know what chaku is? Chaku is a knife. Cha, and then this is a ka, and then a wow, and ulta fish. Chaku. Again, that spelling is wrong. Chaku is spelled with this ka. Not this ka. It should be spelled like this. Cha. That's much better. Chaku. Not with a calf. Not with a calf, but calf. As I told you many, many times in the past, the writer simply has to know the spelling. Chaku. As a knife. There's the one with a choti uki matra. Dal, do, do, ka, so this is kaf and alif. When kaf is about to join alif, it takes this form. This is the form it takes. Let me put it underneath it. It takes this form. This guy looks like this. And when it joins alif, it just joins alif. Do, ka, no. Dukan. Dukan. Now in Hindi it's very easy to continue with it. We can extend the word Dukan. Dukan Dar. Let me put that in, in the bottom here. Du. Ka. And now because it's continuing, because this letter, this word is continuing, it, is not, it does not end at Dukan, it does not end at Noon. It's going to continue, so noon cannot look like this. This has to be small noon. Dukan and then dar. Dukan dar. Let me write it freehand. Dukan dar. Dukan dar means shopkeeper. You already know that. Let's do the next word with bariyuki matra. Let me first write it in Hindi. Z. Ru, Ri. We talked about it yesterday that uh, this Bariyuki Matra, when it comes for the R, for the R, it goes to the side. Z, and this time you're going to take this, uh, oh, sorry, this uh, right here, Zuat. It's going to take Zuat. Z, Ru, Z, Ru. Ri, Zaruri. Zaruri means something that is necessary. If you were to put it like this, for some reason this is considered wrong. No, it would have been the other way. You cannot put it like this. 
Bariuki Matra for R has to go on the side. I do not know why, but that's how it is. Zaruri. Let's write the one. Let's write one more word. Next word. With Chodiuki Matra. Mu. Mu. Na. I should have written it. I should have written it a little bit lower so we have room. Mu, na, so, and then bo. Right now the word says munasab. Munasab is not a word. The word we are looking for is missing an iki matra, choti iki matra. The word we are looking for is munasib. Munasib. Munasib as inappropriate. Proper. When you're haggling with the shopkeeper back home and he always gives you a high, pri high price to begin with, so you say to him, Tell me the appropriate price for it. Okay? Tell me a proper price. Give me a reasonable price. Reasonable, appropriate, munasib. That's how we write it. Munasib. Since we talked about munasib, kimat, let's write kimat also. Kimat is spelled with a Q. Not a calf, not a calf. It's, it's not going to be spelled with a calf, it's spelled with a Q. K, ki, ma, ta. Kimat. It's a very ki matra. Ki, you see, it has a, it has a, choti ye, ki, ma, ta. Kimat. Munasit kimat. Appropriate price. Let's do, let's do it. Let's do one with the Badi Uki, badi uki Matra. Pe in Wow. Pu. Pu. Ra. Pura. Pura is in hole. Pura is in hole. Pu. No, pool. Pool is in bridge. Pool. Now we write, we can write a letter, which is going to take a j, j and do chashmi here. Because we, we don't want j sound, we want a j sound. J, not j. J, j. Now for that, Hindi does have a letter. We do not. In Urdu we do not have, so we put j and h together. So just like you do in English, you will take a J and an H. J. This is how J looks like. J. And this is going to take an Alif. J. And then Ru. J or Ru is what I'm trying to write. Let's, let's do it in the bottom. J. Don't touch me here. J. We're going to add a leaf to this. That's going to make a jar. So all of that looks like this. Jar. Jar. And then re. Wow. We don't touch me here. Jaru. You know what jaru is? Jaru is just, uh, something that you sweep with. Let's do the next one. U. This is U, and then the next one is tricky here. The next one, we take a T and put the Do Chashmi here together. That's the only way we can make a T sound in Urdu, because we don't have a letter for it. In Hindi, you do have a letter, and the letter looks like this. The letter is very straightforward. You, you just make a circle. And that thing, when it's written in Urdu, will look like this. T. and then wow, utho. So it has a choti uki matra and choti oki matra together, utho. Utho is in to wake up. Let's do the next one. T. 
ए वाव विथ छोटी 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 उल्टा पेश टू दैट मेक्स ए टू तो दस रिक्टर दस बड़ी ऊकी मात्रा टू तले ना दक्टर टू टर ना टूटना टूटना एज इन टू ब्रेक दैट लुक्स अगले आई एम गोइंग टू रीड आई गेट टूटना टू ब्रेक समथिंग लेट्स लुक एट द नेक्स्ट वर्ड Let me write it in Urdu first and see if you can read it. Let's do it together, shall we? Piece by piece. The first one is mim. This is mo. So this is mim with the u ki matra, choti u ki matra. So that makes it mu, mu, and then it it continues like this. And this part that you see there, this part right here, this this right here is the jim. Much, much, and then we have a re, and we have a re, and it's the choti ki matra. It has a zero underneath it. That's choti choti ki matra. Much. Oh, I left no room for myself. The choti ki matra. Choti ki matra is going to go on the left. Much, re. म मुजरिम मुजरिम व्हाट इज अ मुजरिम मुजरिम इज अ अक्यूज्ड अक्यूज इज कॉल्ड मुजरिम इफ यू अक्यूज ऑफ हैविंग डन समथिंग रॉन्ग हैविंग कमिटेड अ क्राइम द अक्यूज इन द कोर्ट इज कॉल्ड मुजरिम जस्ट लेट्स लेट्स राइट इट वन मोर टाइम ओके सो मु नाउ शी वांट टू रिकॉग्नाइज लाइक दिस मु ज And then re, with the, with the zer, much re, ma. That's fine also, but that writing is very childish. Let's read it one more time without lifting our hand. So mu, jo, rim, much rim. Let's write one with the badi uki matra. The last one we did was tutna. Here's here's the one. So this is going to take a bay and do chashmi hai. B, b. This is b. But we don't want b. We want bu. Chhod you badi uki matra bu, which means we need a wow and ulta pesh. And all of that together, when it's put together, it looks like this. Bu. That's bu, bu, ta, na, Bhutan. You know what Bhutan is? Bhutan is a country, obviously. Bhutan. I believe. <coughs> I believe that's right. Uh, that's where. I think I believe that's where Dalai Lama lives. Bhutan. No, he lives in Tibet. He lives in Tibet. Bhutan is right next to it. Bhutan, Tibet is somewhere up in the northern part of India. Bhutan. That's it. Let's do one with the choti uki matra. Again, jim. With pesh ju. Ju. Ra. Ma. Ju. Except we don't care. We don't. We don't read it as jurama. It's jurm. Jurm is a jurm is a crime. The one who is accused of having committed the jurm is called mujrim. Get it? Jurm, mujrim, jurm. Let's put them together. So this this is jurama jurm. Let's do one with the badi uki matra. Again, I'm going to first write it all together and see if you can read it. See if you can read it. So there's mo. This is the mo. And then we have a jo. This part is the jo. 
and then this is a bow, this part is a bow to which we have wow attached to it and then we have a utapesh so that makes a boo sound and then we have ra Majpur Majpur Maj Bu Ra Majpur Let's put it let's put them together one more time. Let's do it on the bottom here. Ma J Bu Ra Majpur you see, you don't stop in the middle of the writing, like I was stopping to put the dots and everything. You do that at the end. That's why it looks awkward when I'm writing it, because I'm not used to stopping in the middle of the word. Let's do the next one. Just first write it in Hindi. Zo. Zo. Becomes zu. Zu. Lo. I still have to I still have to get to the idea of writing half half a letter. We don't have them in Urdu, half letters. I'm trying to write half L. I guess the only way I'll know is to write the whole thing and then erase the second part. That's the best I can do. Zulm. Zulm. It requires a Z. The question is, which Z are we going to take? There are four different Z in, Ur in Urdu. This is called Zal. We talked about it just a little while ago. This comes after Dal, Dal, Zal. This is called Ze. It comes after Re, Re, Ze. This is called Zuat. It comes after Suat, Suat, Zuat. And this is called Zoe. It comes after letter Toy. Toy has a sequel of T. So do we take a Zal, Ze, Zuat, or Zoe? The writer has to know which Z it calls for for the word Zulm. And the answer is, it calls for Zoin. This, this letter right here. It has a dot on top of it. And that's a, that's a Zoin. This, this whole thing is a Zoin. And we want a Zu. Zu. And then the L and the M. Watch how, watch how they join together. Don't watch, okay? Don't watch. I'm not ready. Zoom. This is the law. This thing is the law. Oh no, this is the law. No, don't watch. I don't know how to write it. I, I, I should have practiced ahead of time. I did not. As I told you, I'm relearning re Urdu. I'm relearning Urdu. Sometimes I have trouble remembering things. Things that I learned more than 50 years ago. Oh, it's a long time, that's half a century. Let's, let's learn one more. This is a curve, and we want a, we want a body, body uki matra. So we're not going to put a page on top of curve, we're not going to put a page on top of curve, we're going to put a wow and ultra page. That's going to make it, that's going to make it ku. With the dot there, ku, watch what happens, ku, and then a the, khut, and then kaaf with a pesh. So it has a choti yuki matra and badi yuki matra. This is a kaaf with a pesh. That makes it ku. Ku. And then we need the last one with the badi yuki matra. This is a sha. And it takes a choti ye. Choti ye turns into a badi yuki matra. So this word has three matras. It has a badi uki matra, it has a choti uki matra, and it has a badi iki matra. Badi uki matra, badi uki matra, choti uki matra, badi iki matra. Kutkashi, kutkushi, kutkushi. What's, what's a kutkushi? Kutkushi is suicide. Let's put them together. So ka, when it joins, it looks like this. Ka, to which the wav is going to join. Wow is going to take ultapesh, 
that's your ke, that's a ku, so far it's ku, that's this part right here. Then we need a dal, right there is dal, khud, and then ku, and then shi. Khud ku shi. Ku, and then shi. Khud ku shi. Suicide. That was the end. That was the end of my page. All I have here. We'll do two more times, part three and part four. And the idea is not only to learn our letters and get used to the way of writing the script. At the same time, we're learning the script, the uki matra, choti uki matra, badi uki matra. So we learn our script, and while we're learning our script by doing many many words, that's why I make four parts. Today's today's part two of four. Today was part two of four. Tomorrow we'll meet again. We'll do the third part, and finally on day number sixteen. Today it should have said day fourteen. Today is not day thirteen. Day thirteen was yesterday. It's a bit too late to correct it, but today was day fourteen. Day thirteen is when we started it because they go in a set of four: one through four, five through eight, nine through twelve, and thirteen through. 16, 13, 14, 15, 16. And today is our second part, so today must have been day 14. I'll meet you tomorrow again and we'll continue with this thing, okay? Bye now.